Hey, keep it going. Give it up for all the comedians y'all saw tonight, y'all. Make, make them feel good. Wasn't they funny? Wasn't they? <laughs> Chuck, you say hilarious? Oh, man. We're going to wait till you get off the phone. We, we, we ain't doing shit. This fucking talk. Go ahead. We ain't just see. Four motherfuckers in this bitch. You <laughs> profiling. Yeah, uh, uh, I'll be there in uh, what time is it? Shit. Oh man, this is so cool. This is a private show for my family, y'all. This is the coolest shit ever. Oh man. I'm gonna tell y'all, first motherfucker get up, get up and leave. I'm leaving with you, so don't you know don't impress me. <laughs> we'll leave out this bitch together. We we will. I will I don't have to be here. I'm only doing this because I feel like an MC Hammer song. I'm too legit to quit. You know. This is this is actually a good show, I'm gonna be honest with you. And, and and it's usually a lot more people in here. It's kind of funny that y'all showed up and y'all did a private show. This is the coolest shit. And Deborah in the back. Deborah, that's your name? How you doing, baby? Sometimes you born to go where everybody knows your name. Okay. Yeah. This is so cool. I just uh, met my cousin and, and did some shit. This is, what's your name, Keisha? Yeah, Keisha. Is it? Like, what is it? This is big laughing to you. I don't know no, no, that ancient name. What's it? What, what? Kita. Kita. Give it up for Kita, my, my new cousin. Yes. I always knew her, but she didn't know who the fuck I was. Ain't that some shit? Yes. So this is so cool. I like it that y'all hanging out together, brothers and sisters. That's the coolest shit. Because people don't hang out no more. People be like, fuck you. Fuck you, bitch. That is some cool shit. We got to bring family back together. Sisters. We do that sometimes. Still oh, this is like a rare occasion? This don't happen? Today was a regular day, yeah. This is a regular day y'all hang out? All right, that's cool, yeah. Me and my brothers and sister, we never get together. Not because we beefed out. You just, you know how life is. You just don't hang out, you know? That's why we got to hang out. I, I think we should live together. The whole family should. Hell no. No, that ain't going to work. No, no, y'all. Y'all got it fucked up. I'm talking about. I'm talking about whatever you need. You feel you need a subdivision. You need an apartment building, two family flat. You know what I'm saying? Bear your coat drop. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you might need, you you get it. You feel me? If you might need land. If everybody need a little tiny house, a big house. That's all I'm saying. It, we we should be spread out. That's the only thing. It should be one motherfucker should pay the rent. That's it. Why we all gotta pay rent? Ain't, ain't that some fucked up shit? Right, right. Yeah, just one motherfucker pay the rent and we all like, you know, get in where we fit in, you know what I'm saying? We but we we all have to pay rent. I think that's where we go wrong. Am I right or wrong? You wrong. I'm serious. <laughs> Fuck that. No, 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 no. This is yeah, it's like why do we all no, 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 no. Check it out. This is what happens. This is how we should do it. Um, we should do it with the mother and father. Oh, shit. As long as they alive, we all live together. You feel me? They died, and we should still live together. I'm sorry. We should. This only, listen, listen, I got a, so I got a method to my madness. I'm about to fuck you up with this. All right? We got to live together to eradicate poverty. <laughs> See, that's, the, that's why we so broke, because we... Everybody got to pay rent, lights, gas, water, all the other bills you got. You feel me? The Mexicans, they all live together. You feel me? You go, you fuck with a Mexican, you fucking with the whole family. You fucking with an Indian motherfucker, you fucking with the whole family. Whether you dealing with an Indian from, you know, where do you go from here? <laughs> or whether you dealing with a reservation enemy, I mean Indian. Their whole family together. Black people, we try to do like white people. That's what we fuck up. White people send their kids off to college, give them American Express card, like, enjoy yourself. <laughs> conquer the world. You can conquer the world. You got an American Express card, can't you? Yeah. A Visa, yeah. American Express card, a, 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 a charge card with $20,000 on that bitch. You can get you all kind of degrees. Black people, we send our kids out and be like, you on your own, nigga. 
<laughs> yeah, I told my kids, don't ever move out. You leave, I'm leaving with you. That's how I live my life. You, you ain't about to come up and leave me in the goddamn nice ass suburb. Shit. I'm about to come do what you do. You know? You move, I move. Just like that. Anybody got a nice crib? Yeah, an ice cream. Ain't, don't it feel good to have a nice crib? Your crib, you know you're in the crib nice when you don't even want to go to work. That's all right. I can't do this. I can't do it. <laughs> my life is too good to fuck with y'all today. Oh my God, when you don't want to, my, my crib's so nice, I became a, a recluse, a hermit. I had to look this shit up. <laughs> bitch told me, you are a hermit. I said, what bitch? What the fuck? <laughs> Motherfucker don't want to do shit. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> I don't want to go nowhere. Oh my God, it, 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 it. I tell you, man, this is so fucked up. They be like, why you don't come out? Yes, I'm telling you. I. This is the best life. And then if you do leave, anybody got a nice car? You 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 the shit. You the shit when you get in that bitch. You you enjoy that ride getting there and coming back. You can't wait to get back home. That's a great man. You gotta that's when you've been making the right decision. You should be proud of yourself. Whoever said yes to all of that shit. Yeah. You know, anybody got you, now, 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 now anybody got a fucked up crib? You hate that bitch. You don't really want to go. You drive around the corner <laughs> twice. You run and drive around the block. You go to Bell Isle before you go home. Wait a minute, bitch. I gotta go take care of some shit on the east side. <laughs> gotta go where I came from, bitch. Gotta go back to check on my roots. <laughs> you know. You and you mad in the motherfucker, you go to Bell Isle. They try to charge to get on Bell Isle. Why are you taking Detroit back through Kwame and Jail and, and, and bought Bell Isle at the same time? They didn't buy it, they took it. For 40 years, you remember this shit? For like 30 years, they didn't, this guy can't make this shit up, cause you hear me? 30 years, they locked Kwame in for 30 years, took Bell Isle for 30 years. They um, pardoned Kwame and kept Bell Isle. I'm thinking maybe we should get Bell Isle back, bitch. <laughs> we got Kwame, I want Bell Isle back. I saw a white woman jogging on Dexter, nigga. I said, what the fuck? I could, white people taking this bitch back. I put that shit on YouTube, you hear me? Go to my YouTube channel, you got that shit. Oh no, go to my Facebook, I got five. This should be about a million motherfuckers in the, and watching that shit now. And the bitch said, what are you doing? She called the police. I said, bitch, I'm trying to save your life. I am recording this shit. <laughs> the cops came. I can't, I can't make this shit up. The cops came, and, and, and she said, this guy is recording me. I said, I'm trying to save this bitch's life. We on Dexter. They said, yes, he's actually trying to save your life, ma'am. You should, um, you should be thanking him. She said, is he for really? And she invited me to an open house and shit. Bitch had an open house on Dexter. I, I bullshit you not. I said, bitch, you can't do shit like this over here. She said, why not, Tony? I said, bitch, do you see what I did when I met you? These motherfuckers gonna come and take all this shit. I said, now what time do you go to work tomorrow? She said, 6 a.m. What time do you come home? 7 p.m. Oh, yeah, we got to go. That bitch went to work, came back to you. Tony, they took all my shit. I said, I know. I said, I know. she said, how do you know? I said, because I watched him do it. And you didn't get involved, no. Fucking with killers. She said, you know how I can get my stuff back? I said, damn sure I can get it back. But I'm gonna need, how much do you got? She said, I got 50,000. I said, you only need 49,000. <laughs> you don't need all that. I got her shit back. She, uh, we've been in love ever since. I, <laughs> oh yeah, we. <laughs> oh we. I love this bitch. Oh uh, yeah, I love oh. oh my god, we united and did feel so good. I I can't date white women no more though. For real. I took a white bitch to see the point. Oh my god. I, I was so, my, every time I saw a black woman, my ass cheeks clenched out, you know? <laughs> Cause I, could, I knew what they was thinking, they was like, you ain't shit. I'm like, bitch, you wouldn't have got with me. 
<laughs> Fuck you, bitch. This bitch paid for this trip. I need this trip. <laughs> I felt like I had to explain that to every bitch I walked back. Free trip, fuck you. <laughs> and, and we were like, really, I didn't want to go. Uh, my cousin James took me up. He was with a white bitch, and it felt like he, I, he couldn't be the only nigga with a white bitch. <laughs> yeah, I got a white bitch, Cindy Crawford. You gonna love her? I'm thinking she's a supermodel and shit. You know what I'm saying? Cindy Crawford. I'm like, yeah, all right, fuck it. I mean, this, she's a model. I heard about this bitch. She was not Cindy Crawford the model. That's it. That's it. Oh my god, so fucking horrible. So I hung out with them, and, and everybody in the house had a uh, had a white bitch. Everybody black, and uh, all the niggas black, and all the bitches white. And I was like, you know what? I don't feel uncomfortable with this situation right now. But the the dude. Um, her friend, um, boyfriend was so fucking cool. He's like, yeah, we're going, we're going to fucking uh, well, see the point, man. You fucking come, man. And it's a black guy. I'm like, damn, sound like white guy. He's like, <laughs> he was totally um, acclimated with the goddamn white world. All right, uh, I was like, shit. He was like, man, we you fucking going? Don't worry about it. I fucking got it. I got it, man. I'm like, yo, I ain't got no money. I can't go. I can't do that. Man, he's like, fuck that. You don't need shit. Go on, man, we got fun. I'm like, all right, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? It's peer pressure. I'm about 19. You know what I'm saying? Couldn't handle myself at that point. You know, I was like, fuck it. We went. Him and his, he's in love with this white bitch. He's kissing her and shit, holding on her hand, putting her, his hand in her pocket and shit, all that white, white shit, shit you be seeing on TV. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm not affectionate. Cause I can't, my ass cheeks clenched up. I'm feeling uncomfortable when I get around white black bitches. I'm like, ah, shit, can't do this to the race. You feel me? I'm like a really a, a, a revolutionary, so I can't be with this white bitch. But you know, Martin Luther King had a dream. I'm like, you know what? I'm fulfilling Martin Luther King's dream. I'm with a white bitch. This is Martin Luther King, bitch. If all your bitches look at this for the king, all right? <laughs> my shit is all fucked up. Cause it was so fucked up. This is the first time I'm talking about it, to be honest with you. I don't usually talk about my white bitches, but... But white bitch can do special shit. You know white bitch, white bitch made me a Reese cup. I said, how did you make a Reese cup? I love that white bitch. Right, a bitch made a Snickers? I said, the next day she made a Snickers. I said, bitch, who are you? She said, I'm gonna make you a peppermint patty tomorrow. Where are you doing this shit from? She said, I know you like candy bars. <laughs> this bitch research how to make a candy bar. Oh, Damn, it was hard to leave this bitch, but I couldn't be with her, man. Her, so her friend, and, and they, they really affectionate. They hugging, he didn't give a fuck. He was really, you know what I'm saying? He lived in the suburbs, he didn't give a fuck about no black bitches at all. The black women, I'm sorry, I keep seeing saying black bitches. <laughs> but I'm saying white bitches, so. I feel that's fair. <laughs> yes, it is. Thanks, thanks cuz. Cuz that my back. She says equal. You feel? <laughs> okay, so so I said, I said, I'm good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just have fun on the trip. <laughs> and then so so they walk in front of us. I'm really trying to talk to him the whole time. I'm like, yeah, man, you know, like make make it seem like they behind us or in front of us, but they not with us. Me like, and he he just kept. You know, and this girl was like, just kind of be with him and grab his hand. He, and then I'm like, you know, and then his, and then the white chick on with, she was like, trying to grab my hand. I'm like, my, oh, that's when my ass cheeks really come. So I'm like, no, bitch, we can't do this. <laughs> She's like, what are you doing? I'm like, this some black girls coming this way. We're going to get killed. We can't, they hate us. Oh my God. I, I, that was, a, that was the, that was the worst. That was the. I didn't do that shit no more. <laughs> For ten years later, I didn't do that shit no more. <laughs> then I got with a. I got with an Italian chick. That was kind of fucked up too. You know. That was really, anybody ever dates a, a, a white chick or black a white guy, ladies? All right, cause yeah, you too, yeah, 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 fuck that. No, I, you know, because it's like, it's so fucked up because guys, when we date uh, white women, it's an opportunity. 
when when sisters date a, a white guy, y'all become bad witches. So I don't want y'all to have that reputation. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And uh, and I I don't I don't like I don't like um, I don't like sisters be like mad at guys that you wouldn't date. You feel me? You get mad at them for being with a a, a, a white chick. You know. But why do guys gotta be with the ugliest white chick? That's what fucks me up. The ugliest white bitch in America. What the fuck? I would reject that bitch as soon as I made her. No submissive. bitch. She submissive, very. I love submissive women. Yes, it's nothing. A submissive woman rule the world because they in control, really. If they knew what the power of being submissive, they every woman would be submissive. That's why so many black lonely women in the world because they're not submissive. You know, when you get a, when you become submissive, you giving you make it you about to really take ownership. To be honest, because you can't leave a submissive woman, can you? No. Hell no. You you cannot leave somebody. You tell them go to bed. They say okay. <laughs> God, damn. <laughs> That'll make you go to bed too. Shit. I'm, I'm with you, bitch. <laughs> oh my God. You ever try to tell your woman to go to bed? I, do you do we go to bed? Damn, you got that nigga trained. You go to bed when she tell me to go to bed. You go to bed when your girl tell you? You know what that means? It's about to pop up. Oh shit! I don't. <laughs> I don't. Fuck it. Cut the light off. Fuck you, bitch. I'm about to enjoy my fucking self. I will wake you up when I'm ready. I run shit. My girl try to fuck me, no bitch, I'm running this shit. My dick can be hard, I still won't fuck. Because as soon as they get, they start thinking that they can run shit, and the next thing you know, you gotta fuck them and shit. When you, they wanna be fucked and shit. I, I like to make love nowadays. You know, I'm getting to that old age, I like to make love. Women still be wanting to fuck, fuck me, fuck me. What they mean is kick my ass, beat the shit out of me. Why you got your dick in me? That's when you can hurt them. You can violate them and shit. You know what I'm saying? If women love when they say no and you fuck them anyway, they love that. They love, they gotta be your woman. I don't want nobody to catch a rape case. They gotta be your fucking woman. Don't try that shit to them. But Tony Roney told me to fuck them, you bitch. She said no, no. You gotta like live with the bitch type of shit. Now they love that. The woman be like, where that nigga had that was here last night? <laughs> How much money you got, bitch? You got enough for a goddamn uh, ultimate feast? This nigga will be back tonight. I'm not fucking for no fettuccine, bitch. I don't fuck with that. You go to starving first. <laughs> Don't give a fuck, do they? Yeah, they don't. We like to be spoiled. Women want to keep a mother, you got to spoil that motherfucker. You got to be submissive. We will leave your ass for a big fat bitch. <laughs> that submissive? We will listen. How that big fat bitch get my man? That bitch, listen. I said, hold this shit. That bitch held that shit. I got to go to jail, came out. That bitch still held that shit. <laughs> With a new nigga, yeah, but he, even that nigga hear my shit. I'm not gonna do it. Nigga say you chuck. <laughs> Valencia said, I'll "Give you this. It's a real bitch right there. <laughs> it's a real bitch right there, man. Who are you? I'm Damon. Hey, I'm Damon. So you with this bitch? Good for you, Damon. You've been putting that money on my books, huh? You great guy. <laughs> I, I like I like those women that's honest, man. Those women that's honest and they, they tell you, you know what I'm saying? Oh my God, that's what make you accept a cheater. You feel me? Bitch, be like, I'm about to fuck somebody else. Oh, bitch. Yeah, I'm about to, wait a minute, who, who? <laughs> Just show you a picture of this, wait a minute, bitch. <laughs> it's real disrespectful. Ah, uh, you don't give a fuck. 
I fucked around and fell in love with my weed lady. I remember that. I yeah, remember that. yes, nigga. I went over her house. This bitch was fucking another nigga. I looked in the window. I thought, oh shit. Who's this nigga fucking my bitch? All right, bitch, it's over. <laughs> Fuck you in that nigga. I did, I was done. I went home. <laughs> bitch called me up talking about we saw you. Bitch, we, we didn't see nobody. He gone, you can come back. Fuck you, bitch. He say he gone, you can come back. Bitch, I ain't coming back. Fuck you. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. Oh, she was fucking yeah. horrible, but she was real though. Real as fuck. Yeah, I love them real. That's why. But that's a woman's kryptonite. You be real, Chuck. You wanna be, you wanna be with your girl and somebody else. Just be real with her. You, have you ever been with a threesome with your wife? Don't listen to him. <laughs> no, you can do this shit. Don't know his wife. Oh, <laughs> uh, oh, uh, she wanted them. When she, when they like that, what you do is when you fucking. That's when you tell her what you want. <laughs> Gotta wait till you fucking. All right, no, you can do this, Please but keep me. keep doing it. Every time you fuck, and what happened is, it's subliminal. It could become subliminal. <laughs> and then subconscious. Say it war for mine. Yeah, yeah. And after a while, she and she will bring it and introduce you to it. So if I come over there, yeah. and I have my bag, so you just gonna have to let me in. Oh, uh, no, no, don't worry about that. You good. You good. You good. This shit works, man. This shit works for real. You can't be afraid. You gotta be, women love to be, women love alpha male. Nah, you gotta be an alpha male. Women love this shit, man. They love when you introduce shit to their relationship. They love that. If you do this shit, your relationship gonna go at least five more years. Two more minutes. Yeah. See, I, my girl cheated on me, man. Yeah, she got a work husband. Ain't that bitch? Yeah, broke my heart, nigga. Yeah, bitch. Uh, uh, she fucked out Thursday. I moved out Saturday. Yeah, and I realized a lot of people stay in fucked up relationships because they can't move out. They don't have the means, so they have to stay in abusive relationships, or be, the relationship becomes abusive. When you when you got means, you can bounce. But we don't have to deal with that fucked part, up shit. That part, that part. You feel me? So so I bounce. I got the fuck out of there. Um, but this is the bad part. So I'm like, so I, in my world now, I realize that women cheat. I I didn't think women cheated. I, I thought I put them on a pedestal. I was like, my bitch wouldn't cheat on me for nothing. And then she did. I'm like, damn. <laughs> you, <laughs> yeah, I found it. I found out. I asked her, like, hey, you cheating on me? I'm, I'm thinking she's going to lie. She was like, yes. I'm like, damn, you bitch is real nowadays. <laughs> you bitch is a uh, tutorial. I'm not, I'd, have, I'd have been good with a lot of me. I don't know. It's not what you think. Good. Thought it was another nigga trying to take my bitch. She said, uh, she said, yes. And I, um, and I said, um, you know, <laughs> I thought about it, to be honest with you. I love this guy. Like, well, bitch, keep my car. That nigga was like, we're going to kill that bitch. Like, yeah, it was my fault. <laughs> no, fuck that nigga. We're going to kill this bitch. We argue about an hour. This nigga going to give me the address. I'm going to fuck this bitch up. I'm like, damn, I love this kind of love, but I, I can't let you catch a case on this bitch. <laughs> this bitch, I don't know. But... But, but yeah, I, I've always had some kind of problem <laughs> with bitches that I think about. I've never had much success. Physical. I got hope. Got high hopes. Got high, high hopes. Yeah. I don't give up either. So I broke up. Uh, I left. And uh, we, had, we got a beautiful family, man. But uh, it's so hard when you when you break up and you got to go visit your kids, that is the toughest shit. She still got the weed now? Huh? She still got the weed now? The weed? Yeah, she still got the weed now? Oh, no, no, no. That's the weed lady. No, she died. Yeah, the weed lady died. Yeah, this is my kid's mother I'm talking about now. Oh, damn. Yeah, I've been through some shit. It's been so tough on me. <laughs> what can you do? That's why now I'm honest. I'm like the bitches. I'm honest now. 
I'm that kryptonite. I fuck them up with it. Even if I don't have a new bitch, another bitch, I tell them, I got, hey, I got somebody else. I ain't got nobody. I'm just, yeah, yeah, I'm dating. I'm seeing people. Hope you can handle that. I don't be seeing nobody. I be jacking off and shit. By myself, lonely than a motherfucker, but I tell them all, you know what I'm saying? I say, listen, it's somebody in my life. This, the bitch don't even exist. I just think it's, I have somebody in my life. Her name is Valencia. And if you want to be with me, you have to. You have to get, get acquainted with Valencia because I don't like to keep secrets. Now, so far, ain't nobody agreed to this shit. <laughs> but the woman that agreed to that shit would be like, all right, I'd like to meet her. I'm like, you know what, bitch? I'm going to have to find Valencia. But that's my shit. I am going to live my life because them transsexuals live their life, don't they? Them goddamn LG. PQ community niggas live they life to the fullest. They got motherfucking the Kardashians was so look so goddamn good that Daddy Bruce Jenner said, I'm about to become a goddamn Kardashian. I'm about to become one of you bad bitches. <laughs> and then became oh, I fucked me up and then won the uh, Sports Illustration uh, bitch of the year. Didn't he? Won the award. I said, God damn! <laughs> Gay people can come out the closet, but men are too afraid to be honest with our woman. Fuck that! I'm like this. I'm I'm not lying no more. I'm out the fucking closet. If I was, I'm talking in the sense of being with two women, that type of shit. No homo shit. I'm gonna live my truth. You with me, cuz? I'm with you, cuz. Oh, you bear. You with me? Man, you, you don't, man, I'm gonna tell you, I'm writing a book on this shit. You can do this shit. You gotta just look. It's going listen, if your woman leave you, she never believed in you. Not at all. You man. feel me? You're gonna try to hurt me. You, okay, you gotta ease it to them. I know, no, I was with the weed lady, man, that's real shit. Some women, you can't tell no shit like that. Yeah, yeah. The, see, the weed lady had kids my age and older, so I had to, I couldn't even argue with her. I had to, I had to argue with her like this. I know how you feel, but you gotta, like I told, like I told Chuck, when you having sex with her, you gotta plant that seed then. You gotta talk to her. You feel me? And watch white shows that they real honest. So then it'll open you up to being honest. Cause what black women love shows with white women. And they follow what the white women do. So if you show her that show, those type of shows, I got a list of them motherfucking shows. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, not the housewives. Don't, no, no. I'm gonna, no, you want the sister wives. You want that show. You want the, yes, you don't want the housewives, sister wives. Uh, but that's, that's where we going. We taking this into honesty. Women, can't y'all take if your man honest with you and tell you, Keep it. Hell no. You yeah. man tell you, hey, I want to be with you and somebody else. This is a picture of her. You know, what do you think? I don't think I'm a good example. <laughs> I was raised with my brother. So, 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 so you don't, so he got to lie to you? <laughs> you better and make it a good one. See, you know what? Okay. Now, I'm not mad at that. Because I'm going to be real. I come so situated. You got to come correct. Oh, situated. Wait a minute. I got to hear about this. Yeah. Ain't situated, that means you got a crib. Everything. The guy don't have to do nothing but move in. Oh no, I ain't saying that. But I'm saying if you leave in the midst of you getting caught, I'm good without you. Oh man. So, so make this real good, so we can be good together. See, yeah, see, y'all, y'all, I, I, that's why I gotta. <laughs> I don't want to be with no bossy chicks. I want to be with. Her. Or is she bossy as long as she can sell. You know what I'm saying? What I, what me and want. If you can accept that, I think the relationship is going to be better. That's all I'm saying. That's why you look for the ones with the most self-esteem. No, I don't think we have to. Uh, yes. We don't, no, we don't have to do that no more. Yes. No, yes. we don't. No, we don't have to. If you want to win, you like him. Y'all going to finish like Oh, you said to, instead of like a, 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 a 10, get a 5. Yeah. Get two fives. <laughs> Make that 10. Man, it's a 10 when it comes together, ain't it? All right. That's fair. You can do that. Yeah, but we got to take control. We got to start being men. You know what I'm saying? See, y'all father was a real man. You know what I'm saying? He was, he was a real he was. fucking man. Yeah, I heard stories. 
I'm telling you, he was he he the kind of nigga breaking uh, your shit, steal your shit, and sell it back to you. Like how you where you sell all that shit back to the bitch I stole it from. <laughs> she needed more than anybody. Yeah, yeah. And and, and, and sh sh show you how life is. You got a what kind of car you got, Chuck? <laughs> the colors. You still got the colors? Yeah, I still got the colors. Yeah, that yeah, you that's real sh that's how you can tell niggas got money, he ain't sold this shit. Uh -huh. You feel me? Uh -huh. The we niggas will sell some shit. Quick as hell. Hell yeah, we need the money. This nigga still got that shit. That's that's what's up. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and my uncle Willie had the same car uh, when he was born. Same wow. fucking car. Ain't that some shit? Wow. And he didn't know it and bought that car and hooked it up. My uncle Willie, it was my grandmother's car, and he hooked it up and brand new that bitch. And Chuck, without knowing, bought the same car, same year, and hooked it up. That, that was the most incredible shit, brought a tear to my eye. Yeah, yeah, show you, my father, show you, he's still here. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it did, dope, it, yeah, so, and didn't know it. Yeah, you ain't tell them how much you paid for the real, that's dope. Yeah, the real worse, yeah, see, <laughs> real's worse. But, but, uh, Bear, what up, man, you all right? Yeah, I'm good. Uh, you gonna hook me up with the herb before you leave? <laughs> yeah, they never bring the weed, do they? The rich niggas don't the nigga, Oh, my baby, they man. Talk, but, you know, just the plug niggas. All right, I, I come over. <laughs> oh, you so cool, man. Y'all some cool motherfuckers. <laughs> you hey, coming up tonight? They going to give them a ride right home? I'll follow you. They going to give them a ride home. Uh, oh, that's so cool. Where, where, are, what area are you living in? Seven <laughs> miles. <laughs> <laughs> seven miles. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I fuck with. I fuck with seven miles. Yeah. I will. He may eat seven miles. Oh yeah, I'm east. Yeah, he really did. I'm east. I'm good. I, I, I got to fuck with you. Why well, we don't talk every day? <laughs> You need something from a nigga, you want to talk to him every day. Every day. <laughs> what you doing? How you doing? You okay? Making what you doing? Shit. Yeah, what you want to? What you got up tonight? Shit, sure. all right. I just seen you on some <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. The one not you. <laughs> that is cool. Uh, Man, you got a nice car? Uh, no, we tomorrow. You will tomorrow? Yeah. Oh shit, what happened tomorrow? He got more money than us, so you know, he... Well, she, she, she agreed, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, his shit's there for him. Yeah. Oh, why are you going to get a car tomorrow? Yeah, I'm going to have something tomorrow. Oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> he actually made the deal while we sitting here in the midst of enjoying your what? comedy show. Oh, that's still a real boss. What you, yeah. Wait a minute, you got a phone signal in here? <laughs> you doing some big shit. You ain't got no metro. You can get a phone call in this bitch. You got a Verizon. Oh yeah, you got you got that They're real money. Crazy. Yeah, man. Okay, all right. That's what's up. I, I gotta get some money for you. <laughs> I do. Need a hot hug. I was gonna get it from Chuck, but apparently you got the, <laughs> you got the money. <laughs> well, well, you, you, uh, it's so cool to know what family members got the money. <laughs> You ever call a family member and they don't have no money? I call you, them all the time. You know, I can't <laughs> fuck with you no more. Oh, fuck you. Oh, um, my, my, uh, I got, I have a grandfather, y'all. Yeah, yeah. Can y'all believe that? I'm a grandfather. My son is doing it. Yeah, yes. My son is 26 and um, he is um, doing damn good. Uh, it's so cool when you can borrow money from your kids. <laughs> That's the coolest shit in the world, isn't it? Wait, wait, wait. Oh man, he got like two new cars, nice house. I'm like, shit, I'm about to move in with you. He had some real expensive shoes on when I seen him. Uh, I knew he was doing good. He, yeah, he's doing fucking great, man. Living in uh, 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 Atlanta, you know, married and shit. I've never been married. Wow, that's 26. Mm-hmm. Bear, you married? Uh-uh. No. Uh, Still a player? 
No. That's why you keeping all the money. That nigga married, cuz. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, so, did y'all live together? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, y'all married. Yeah, yeah. Right Debra, you married? She like, hold up, hold up. She Fuck no. I'm waiting on you, daddy. All right, okay. Now, now, now how long y'all been living together? Oh, yes, man. Yeah, married. Yeah. Oh yeah, you gotta marry. Why but you don't want to marry? Oh, how long y'all been talking? Oh shit! <laughs> Eighteen years. Oh man. Fifth grade. <laughs> Come on, man. Why you won't marry her? She big. You ashamed of her? No, no. She abusive. Oh yeah, is she? You got a sister good to talk to her. I, and I can talk to her. She ain't good when we talk. Oh. But it's when they get by themselves. Wow, yeah. yeah, he's such a nice guy, man. He is. Yeah, yeah. She would never leave you. Cause I'd be like, just call me the gun ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, bro, nice. He, he the one that we bring to the meetings when we want to present the image. <laughs> that is so fucking funny. Yeah, yeah. That's the, the women love to take advantage of nice guys. <laughs> That's why I need a submissive woman, you know? That's gonna listen to me, because I'm a gentleman, you know? Yeah, I don't, I don't want to do nothing to go to, back to jail. You know, fuck that shit. I've been to the county. That ain't no place to be, you know? So, yeah, oh man, you the shit, you know? Uh, amazing, you're do, doing a great job, baby. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You doing good, man. You made it to marry her though, like yesterday. You got to, yeah. I mean, look, you got, you got, you. If Chuck get married, if this gangster nigga get married, he the reason I'm getting married. I'm telling you, if that is that motherfucker get married, we all need to get married. Oh yeah, you probably got married first, man. Cause I know it's no disrespect, Chuck. I'm, not, I'm on your side. I'm just saying I couldn't believe they got married, but if he did it. You gotta get married, man. Yeah, yeah, Chuck, cause you broke the cycle. You know what I'm saying? Did it the right way. Now your sister about to do it, and bear you for bullshit. Come on, man. You got to get married. You know, and th look, and then if she won't do it, if she won't do it, break up with her. Oh, I told you. I told you. My chick got a job and found somebody. Found a uh, work husband. Broke my heart. You got the power to get that back though if you really want it. You know what? I thought I did. You but but, but the, the bitch told me I, I ain't made it by now. I ain't gonna make it. <laughs> uh, the, uh, you'll see, bitch. <laughs> What'd you say, baby? Say the over. Yeah, yeah. I can't compete against that. Bitch. No more, she know where I'm going? She said, you ain't did it by now. You ain't gonna do it. Fuck you, bitch. I'll show you. That's what they call us Jordans out there, though. Yeah, I know. They can't do that. So, yeah. Yeah, we the, we the real deal. You know. And what's your last name? I'm a Taurus. Uh, you, um, um, what's your dad's name? Gerald. Gerald, the light skinned guy? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's yeah, a killer. Crazy, man. <laughs> <laughs> the crazy. That's why my nigga don't play with yeah. me. You feel me? I got that in my blood. Oh, my God. He was yeah. shit. Hey, he was yeah, a I remember that name. Hey, is he, he, he still alive? alive? Oh my god, that nigga. Oh my god, that motherfucker. Crazy yeah. little motherfucker. Alright then, tell him I said hey, if you remember I'll do that. I'll yeah. do that. Yeah. I'll do that. Mm -hmm. How your mother doing? She's awesome. She's oh, yeah. doing good. She's doing good? Yeah. That's my girl. Yeah. And we used to live together. Uh, my uncle Willie, Shan, my grandmother, child in there, and me. Yeah, she got a lot of memories about that. That's, that's, those were her greater days. Like. Yeah, it was. Yeah. And uh, had Willie, I thought they was going to stay together. You would have been a Jordan. Yeah. Yeah. So, but she caught Willie cheating in the car and they broke up. Oh, that's how they broke up. I never, I never knew that story. She, she was pregnant, unfortunately, with Bear. And she walked up on the car yeah. and, and Uncle Willie was getting it on. He, he was Damn. Getting it on. He, he had to get his man mad. He was a player. Oh my god, that's what happened. He was so G with it. He had them standing in a two family flat. Yeah. 
And OG was upstairs while he was downstairs getting sneaky licks. Oh man, yeah, he was our car. He was the shit. Yeah, he was the most incredible motherfucker. Your lights get turned off, he turned them back on. He Fuck turned him. Them back on. Yeah, whatever. He could fix anything. Yeah, that's what's up. Thank y'all for coming, man. I ain't going to hold y'all up no more. We had a great time. Uh, everybody, you know the time to go. Uh, Devin went everybody on the phone. Yeah, so, <laughs> you motherfuckers. Whole family got on the phone. Chuck only need about 200 from you and 300 from Bear. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna pay you niggas back. I got, I'm about to blow up next week. You come to my show next week, you'll be like, what happened last week? I got a big plan. Deborah, thank you for so much for coming out. I fucking love you. Can you keep coming back every week? I need you, at least until we blow up. Keita getting a signal, she got, everybody got some serious phone. Let me walk out with Ben. Sounded like a. You, huh? Yeah. Your girl? Yeah, yeah. Tell her come in. Yeah, no, 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 she's locked out. She at the house. She's about to do it on the wall. She set that up, cuz. Yeah, she did. <laughs> Man, God damn it. Thank y'all for coming out. I told y'all, if y'all get up, I'm leaving. And my cousin just got up, so I'm leaving. Thank you very much. See y'all next time. Oh my keep, God. keep it going for all the comedians. One more time. Okay.